Hey guys, welcome back to my workshop. And as you can see behind me here, I've got a customer's ski in the workshop. It's an older Yamaha FX. I think it's an FX HO. It hasn't actually got any stickers on it. But yeah, I think it's about a 2011, around there sometime. There's my ski in the background. But yeah, this customer has brought his ski to me to fit a fish finder here, which he has also supplied, which is the Garmin Echo Map UHD 75SV and transducer. So that's got your GPS charts on it, it's got side scan, down scan, and traditional 2D sonar. So it's quite a good unit. And I actually fitted one last week to a ski as well, which I filmed all of the install. I installed rod holders and transform the ski from just a basic stock ski to a bit of a fishing ski but unfortunately transferring all the GoPro files something happened and all the footage was corrupted so you're not going to be able to see any footage of that however I do have some photos from my phone and I'll put those up on the screen for you and just talk you through what I did. So here's a picture of the ski in my garage as you can see it's the 2020 all black uh, Yamaha Waverunner FX SVHO, the supercharged model. Now these are, in my opinion, one of the best looking skis on the market at the moment. Um, yeah, you can also see the Garmin 7 inch fish finder in the box sitting on the seat there, ready to be installed. And also a set of my rear seat rod holders installed just behind the rear seat there. And here you can see the Garmin unit mounted on the right hand side of the dashboard. From this angle you can see the splash guard installed on the back of the unit just to give it some salt water protection. And down by where your knee would be there in that area there is one of the footwell rod holders installed. There's one of them on the left and one on the right. Just a couple more shots of the ski just to show you the finished installation. And basically this customer wants to keep the back of the ski free because he does a bit of diving as well. So he wanted to have rod holders on there and as you can see the rod holders blend in with the ski perfectly. You barely know they're an aftermarket accessory, they sort of suit the ski that well. And it means he doesn't have to have any sort of um, fishing kit on the back. Yeah, he was really stoked with this setup and so was I. All the accessories really fit this particular ski um, incredibly well. So yeah, the customer has supplied this fish finder and obviously on these older skis there is not really anything available off the shelf. We've got a bit of a dash area up here that he wants it mounted and yeah there's nothing available in my range of products anyway to mount the fish finder so we'll custom make something which is not too much of an issue. And I think the transducer, we will be ride plate mounting it like, just like on mine. Be going up here somewhere. So, yeah, we'll get stuck into the install and see how we get on. Right, so we've gone ahead with mounting the transducer on the ride plate. And so I've removed the ride plate. I haven't removed the speed sensor wheel because one of these, one of the heads on these cap screws is already spun so there's no way I'm going to be getting that out it's just going to create more work for myself so I'll try to do it leaving that attached which I think I'll be able to do I just have to be careful of the wiring which is what's propped up on this box so I've gone ahead and measured out the center and figured out where I can have the transducer sitting underneath the jet pump up there because this does come quite close so we do want a bit of clearance between that and the transducer we don't want it pushing the wiring and as you can see there is the seven transducer holes and I've drilled them on the ride plate accordingly and also machine this part out so that that part of the transducer cable will fit through nicely to the inside of the ride plate and it will make for a nice tidy install. Right, so now we're at the stage where we've got the transducer wires running through the hull and up to the dash area and the power wire as well. 
and so our transducer has been drilled through the ride plate and is ready to, ready to be bolted on. We're just going to pick up some bolts for that, so we'll install that shortly. And up on the dash, I retrofitted one of my 2019 uh, Yamaha FX brackets onto the dash area. This um, silver plastic trim is not too strong, so I went through that and put these studs up coming from the next layer of plastic down below it's um, much stronger that way and um, hopefully it should hold his fish finder fine like that and be a much more sturdy installation the power wire is there in the transducer cable and it's ready to have the fish finder installed on the bracket so now we have the unit all bolted up and plugged in at the back bracket down there so yeah not a bad nice tidy install when it's light tomorrow I'll put it up in the sunlight and give you a better shot of it so one thing I don't like about the Garmin units is they don't really give you enough loom for your power wire so it ends here but I needed about another 500 600 mil on the end so you can see I've got my battery terminals on there, soldered them on with um, resin called heat tray and done the same for this join up here and also sealed these wires that we're not using. So yeah, we'll install that and then it's done. Okay guys, so we're getting back on with the install today. We've got a bit more daylight now and we'll just show you that mount again as you can see. The Garmin 7 inch mounted up there. It's all good to go and the power is all plugged in. I've got the transducer wire running down the left side of the hull and the power wire running down the right side of the hull. And that's all wired up to the battery nicely. And so all that's really left to do is reinstall the ride plate and the transducer. And so you can see the transducer on the road plate there. That's all bolted up and good to go. So I just need to reinstall the road plate. And I just left a little bit of excess wiring hanging out. And I will bunch that up neatly just so that if a service tech or anyone like that does want to take the road plate off to get into the jet pump area, they can take that off and sit it on the ground and they're not going to have to do anything about the transducer wiring so I just left a little bit of room for them to play with just to make things easier. So yeah, we'll go, go ahead, reinstall the rod plate and then that completes the installation. So that's it, the install is now 100% complete. So here we have it. There is our 7 inch Garmin fish finder all mounted up there, nice and sturdy. Down at the back, I barely even know it's there unless we look underneath. And you see the transducer there. So nice and central and straight. And that should give a really good reading at good speed as well. And you'll get good side scan views too with that setup. So yeah. That's it. Customer wants it back today because he's um, the weather's good this weekend, so he's going to get out there. I'm just going to recommend to him that he maybe actually purchases one of our splash guards to cover the back. These Garmin units aren't too bad because there's little O-rings in these plugs, but there is another connection in behind this point. Which I'm not too sure how waterproof it is. I don't have huge experience with Garmin units, but it never hurts just to play on the safe side and put some sort of protection there anyway but yeah that's it it's all done ready to go out fishing <laughs>